Um, we have an update out here um, about Mar Marquisha Williams. Oh, they found her body. They found that beautiful baby body. They showed sure enough did. Remember the situation to where we was looking for the boyfriend and the girlfriend, and then we found the boyfriend, and then we couldn't find the girlfriend, and then we didn't charge the boyfriend, but then we charged the boyfriend, then the boyfriend admitted to killing her, but did not tell her us where the body was, and now all of a sudden, we know where the body is, and we done found the doggone body out here in the goddamn street. Here we go. Tragic ending in the search for St. Louis County mom of four. Mm, the body mm, of Marquisha mm. Williams was found this afternoon in Illinois by state police. It has been a week since she was seen alive with her ex-boyfriend. He has since been arrested and confessed to killing her. Melanie Johnson detailing that investigation and the family's journey to closure. Sam, the victim's sister tells First Alert 4 she witnessed the violence Marquisha suffered to the hands of her kid's father. Some she witnessed the violence of a domestic love relationship that her sister put herself in and stayed in. Shout out to your sister, baby. Sometimes it happened in front of their children. Tonight, mm -hmm. the discovery of Marquisha's body days after Christmas is the latest development in a heartbreaking timeline of events. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Gratitude coming from Marquisha Williams' stepfather to the people who have been committed to finding her. St. Louis is here. We have Centralia's here. East St. Louis is here. Mount Vernon's here. The search finally over on day eight as police announced the discovery of his stepdaughter's body in Illinois. Investigators confirming the recovery effort as blood and... Oh, he had a drone. I like that right there. I'm going to have to give me one of them announced the discovery of his stepdaughter's body mm. in Illinois. Investigators confirming the recovery effort as blood and personal items were found in her 2020 Jeep Compass she was last seen in with her ex-boyfriend. Mm. Mm. The timeline of her disappearance dates back to Monday, December 18th, when she failed to pick up her kids after work. Video from that morning shows Marquisha and the children's father, Trent Ivy, dropping off their one-year-old. So they was together, but they keep calling him the ex. They was together dropping off the one-year-old. Wednesday, I, I December 20th, mm. the family filed a missing persons report. On the 21st and 22nd, loved ones were seen handing out flyers looking for any information on the two's whereabouts. It's been unbearable. We haven't been able to find her. We've been looking and looking and looking, and we haven't been able to find her anywhere. A shocking turn of events on Saturday, December 23rd. The father of her four kids, 31-year-old Trent Ivey, was arrested by police in Racine, Wisconsin. Still, there was no sign of Marquisha. St. Louis County Police tell First Alert 4 they deployed a helicopter that Saturday to locate her. Christmas Eve, Illinois State Police assisted them in an extensive search in Litchfield. Tuesday, First Alert 4 followed the family through North St. Louis as they pressed on. 24 hours later, Marquisha's ex-boyfriend confessed to Wisconsin detectives that he killed her. Prosecutors charging him with murder on Wednesday. On Thursday, the family received the heartbreaking news they were expecting. Her remains found after days of searching. From my core, I appreciate everybody. Thank you. Mm. Police have still not said where in Illinois they found her body. Tonight, the focus for Marquisha's family is on her four children. The youngest is just one. And GoFundMe has been oh. set up to help and make the most of the Christmas season, which will never be the same. You can find a link to donate in this story in the First Alert 4 News app. Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. We gotta go fund me. Shut the front door. We gotta... Now, what is that baby name? Mark, 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 Marquisha. I think I found it already. I found... Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Let me go and put this up here for you. Boy, if y'all like to support this dog on family, support Marquisha four kids left without her. They want two hundred thousand dollars. This want two hundred k. Pit. They already got twenty two thousand. They want twenty two. Well, no, no, no. They want two hundred. Wow, two hundred k for the four kids. So watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Before I even read. 
so the two hundred k is is for the four kids. Then that means that we be like needing two hundred k to support um to to raise kids. Then right, two hundred k is a good number to raise kids. Why we just can't save two hundred thousand dollars before we have kids? Come on, Willie, that's difficult. How you wanna do that right there? Well, let me explain it to you. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. It's just what we put our focus to. Like I be trying to tell people, if we work as a unit, if we work together, if we both got decent jobs, let's say we both make 50 or over 50, or let's say before we have kids, one of us make like over 50 and the other one probably make like 30 or uh, 35, $40,000. You should live off the thirty, the thirty-five thousand dollars. Let's save the whole fifty. Remember, we want children. Why we can't live off the thirty to thirty-five thousand for the next four years? That's two hundred grand. Damn, Willie, you make it so easy. Show sure enough, do. <laughs> it's all it, it, damn it. The math be mathing. It's just we don't think about it. How do people save ten, twenty thousand dollars? It's easy if you just work off one income. It's very easy to get your money right as a unit if you work off one income. I don't know why y'all not do. Well, hell, I kind of know why we don't do it. It's because we want things like today. We want the up-to-date cars. We want the high-ass car notes. We got to have the shit. Now we got to be in these Teslas. We got to still be in the Benz. We need the Mercedes. We need the Audis. We need, um, damn it, the Maserati. We, damn it, we need all that now. We still trying to stunt instead of focusing. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That's crazy talk right there. Uh-huh. You say GoFundMe is now a tool to use sympathy as a means to beg for money. The family is supposed to set up or the family is supposed to step up, not the public facts. Shout out to the archer for the $5 rumble rant. Say I support Willie Williams. Say not some idiot, baby. I appreciate that right now. It's a damn shame though. Marquisha has been found. Unfortunately, this is not the outcome we ultimately anticipated. Update. Trent Ivy has has admitted to uh, to to harming and then disposing Marquisha. We are devastated as we prepare to lay her beautiful soul to rest. Say read more. What do we have here? We are um continuing to ask for prayers along with any donations to assist with Marquisha's four children ages 11, 6, 6 and a half and 22 months. Hold up, I don't understand it. I don't understand them numbers. 11 year old, a six year old, a six and a half and 22 months. Wait, what? Oh, so somebody was born a preemie. Some, somebody was born a preemie then. Somebody was born a preemie. Damn, boy, that baby got pregnant immediately then. Hold up, that shit don't make no sense. It don't make no sense unless she had twins and then she had one six months apart. She had twins and one came out six months early. How in the hell do you have a, a six-year-old and a six-and-a-half-year-old? Is that possible? Somebody help me out. Um, And a 22-month. Remember, remember. The mother said that she's witnessed the the domestic love situations that her daughter was in. But this baby had a 22-month-old. They were seen on, on the day before they went missing together. So she loved this man. Yes, yes, yes. Stick with your man's babies. The kids lost both parents in the blink of an eye. The feeling is, is indescribable. You say... We would like to thank the St. Louis community and anyone else that has supported us thus far. We are strong together and with your support, with your continued support, we will remain. The family of 
the family of Marquisha Williams. You say, dear friends and family and kind-hearted individuals, we are reaching out to you today with heavy hearts to speak, to seek your support in finding our beloved niece. Oh, oh, oh. So this was before the update. You say that she was met. She has been missing for a week now, and my niece is dedicated and a loving parent to her four children. Yada yada yada. I right, I right, bam. So this was this was before the update. Bam. So we just read the update. If y'all would like to support this baby, if if y'all would like to support the family and the dog, the family and the dog. That's a cute little dog though. You know what I'm saying. Um, but this is another reason why I say. Where is, where is the life insurance? If we believe that four kids right now needs $200,000. And if you have four kids, then you all need to get your life insurance policies up to at least $200,000. Because they're telling us that the kids need $200,000 because it's four of them. Let's say four and a, four and the possible, which is four and the dog, you know, because let's not forget animals are like children too. And people, they love, they dog on animals like they do children. That's what's up. But listen, this is another learning lesson. Get your paper together, get your insurance together. You never know when your significant other is going to take you out. You never know when the streets going to take you out. You never know when your significant other is going to take you out of these streets for playing. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much, hold you. 